Hi friends, welcome to Power to the Flower. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a fun container for a shady porch. So as you can see, here's the container full of brightly colored and beautiful foliage. Notice there isn't a lot of flowers in here. I planted in a few begonias. We'll see how they do. I don't think that this pot gets any direct sunlight, but as you can see, I have sunglasses on. It does, it is bright, it's right there, the sun's right there, and plants are gonna like that. So in this situation, a nice combination is to use a bunch of bold colors of foliage. So the first thing that I have here is this stained glass hosta, and I love it because of its lime green bright color for the shady porch, but then also it's a variegated leaves with this dark green edging. I think it is very, very striking. Um, this I think grows two feet wide and two feet high and maybe four feet wide. So it's gonna continue to grow. It's also going to send up some bloom stalks. I think one's coming over here um, with a few flowers in. If you like the flowers, great, leave them. If you don't like them, you can always go in and give them a little snip. Um, I've also added in two different hookahs. This is Fire Alarm Hookera and this is Forever Purple. Both of these do great in shade. They're gonna keep their color in the shade. They're not gonna fade over time. They're just going to look as beautiful today, tomorrow, the next day, next month in this shady location. And I've planted two here and two over there. And then I have interspersed them with some Creeping Myrtle. Creeping Myrtle is a great versatile spiller. It is happy in shade. It is happy in part shade, part sun, sun. It is happy in almost any location. You can plant it under trees. You can plant it in containers. It is so versatile. And it also puts out purple blooms. So that's gonna be really fun when those come out in the spring. So this is going to spill over the edge of the container. These are gonna kind of grow out and then they will actually send up some bloom stalks which will intermingle with the hosta. And then like I said, I added a couple begonias because I think they might do okay because this is kind of bright and they might be able to hack it here and flower a little bit with some pink. So here is a really great example of a bright, container with almost no flowers, but still looking really beautiful in your shady location. So I hope this video was helpful for you in terms of thinking about shady porches or patios um, and what you can do with a lot of foliage and not so many flowers. Thanks so much for joining Power to the Flower. If you liked this video, please do like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram at Power to the Flower, or you can find my Facebook page at Power to the Flower WC. See you in the next one. Bye.